Most companies want to use AI agents but don't really know where to start. In today's video, I'm gonna show you five AI agents that can help automate 90% of your business tasks. I'm gonna show you real AI agents that I've built for companies so that by the end of the video, you will know exactly what to automate and how. And don't worry if you're new to AI agents, I'm used to present to hundreds of business leaders, so I will keep it simple. And if you do wanna dive deeper, I'm gonna share all the source code and tutorials for free in the description below. Cool, so here's what we're gonna cover. First, we're gonna go over the five most common problems that any businesses can have. Then I'm gonna show you a specific AI agents that I built to resolve each of these problems. And finally, I'm gonna show you how you can reuse my AI agents to automate any of your workflows. All right, so enough talking, let's dive in. All right, so AI agent number one is about browsing automation. So think of interacting with websites, forums, applications, and so on. So the challenge is every time you need to go on a website, find the email, fill out the contact form, it's taking up a lot of time. So ideally what you'd like is an agent that can automatically browse and interact with those websites. So in this tutorial where I actually teach how you can actually reach out to hundreds of leads automatically, the way it works is assuming you're targeting HVAC companies in Miami, it would actually extract all of these companies by connecting to Google Maps. And then eventually what it would do is go on each of their websites, find their contact forms and fill out the contact forms for you. So this is just an example of how it would work. It would find a contact form like this and fill it out with your information, depending on what you're trying to achieve. As you can imagine, filling out and interacting with websites at scale, uh, this can help you reach out to leads, but also finding new suppliers, or you can also fill out applications, apply to tenders. So this was AI agent number one about browsing browser automation. And now I'm gonna move on to AI agent number two, which is about content creation. Great, so AI agent number two is about content creation. So the issue with content creation is that it often takes time. It's hard to write something that is relevant and personalized to our audience. So ideally what you want is an AI agent that can generate content that is curated and personalized to your audience. So in this tutorial, I teach how you can actually create a newsletter with the agents that will curate the news for your audience. And so the way it works is you're gonna have an army of agents that will research your audience, understanding their desires, challenges, motivations. And then you're gonna have a team of writer agents who will actually generate the newsletter with the content according to your favorite templates, ensuring that it's compelling and that your audience would want to read it. Here is how it would work. So let's say you're targeting CIOs at banks and you want to write about multi-context protocols, so something fairly niche. So you would just give it this context and then finally it would generate a newsletter explaining why your audience should care, taking into account what they're actually most occupied with at work. So the use case for content creation is not limited to only writing blogs and newsletters. As soon as you are creating news and writing content that is directly compelling to your audience, this can help you creating ads, creating landing pages and so on. So very powerful as well. Great, so this was AI agent number two with content creation. And now I'm gonna move on to AI agent number three, which is about automating communications. AI agent number three is about automating communications. So you're probably spending a lot of time answering emails, messages, calls from customers who are asking you about the same thing. So it's fairly repetitive, even though the answers are quite well documented. So ideally what you would like to have is an AI agent that can either reply automatically or at least write draft emails, messages, and so on on your behalf. So in this tutorial, I actually teach how you can build a sales representative who's gonna answer any product related questions. So the way this agent works, it's actually gonna analyze the email from the customer, look up in the inventory if the products are available, and then eventually draft an email saying, okay, those products are available, you can reorder them or not. So this is just an example of, a, of an email where you get a prospect asking about those products that they want to reorder and then wants to get a recommendation of products within the athletic clothing range. And then basically the draft email that would get generated would look up in the inventory to see if the products are available. It would calculate the quote for all of the products that are available. And then finally, it would recommend those products within the athletic range. So this would obviously be super powerful for sales representatives, but also if you are getting a lot of leads and you need to qualify them and in customer support. Great, so this was AI agent number three about communications. Now I'm gonna move on to agent number four, which is about doing some analysis for you. All right, so AI agent number four is about document analysis. So every time you're getting a document that you need to evaluate against your own internal guidelines, policies, or if you want to evaluate a contract, this is very time consuming. It's prone to errors because you have to go through lots of pages. And uh, finally, it requires some specialized skills. So at times it can present an operational bottleneck. So ideally what you'd like to have is an agent that can automatically analyze those documents for you. So whether we're talking about claims, KYCs, onboarding, or just contracts in general. So I have this tutorial where I teach how you can automatically analyze claims. So the way it works is it would extract all the information from the claim and then see whether the damages are covered by the insurance policy or not, and then ultimately come up with a claim decision. So this is how it would look. So you have the claim form containing all the information about the claim, the policy holder, and then description of the loss. And then finally, you would have an analysis with a decision on what's covered, what's not covered, as well as a task list on 
things to investigate further if we're not absolutely certain. So what's interesting with those analysis agents is that they don't need to automate 100% of your workflow, but they can help your team save you know, 90% of the time it usually takes them to accomplish certain tasks. So there are many use cases for those kind of analysis agents. So anything, anything around admin tasks, so billing, the handling expenses, but also customer onboarding, contract analysis, and anything that is vertical specific. So if you work in shipping, you probably need to analyze shipment documents. If you're in the insurance industry, you would have to analyze claims and so on and so forth. This was AI agent uh, number four, which is about analysis. Now I'm gonna move on to AI agent number five, which is about research. So AI agent number five is about automating research. So the challenge is whether you are researching your prospects or your customers, or you want to decide where to grow next, this usually takes up a lot of time. You need to combine internal data with reports and uh, that you do manually. And so this is fairly challenging and this is kind of the work that consultants do, which takes up a lot of time and probably is not your core activity. So ideally what you'd like to do is to be able to generate reports, of your existing data internally, and to generate new insights. I actually have this tutorial where I built a data analyst for a fund. And so the way it would work is it would actually query the data in your CSV on a different investment opportunities, do some research to see if they actually make sense and then generate a report defining whether uh, you should invest or not. So this is just an example. So there are all these different business ideas and then it's gonna go online and look at their market size, the market growth, whether the business ID fits with the core challenges of that industry in question and then tell you whether you should invest or not. So you could be using those research agents to enriching data about your leads, but also to come up with investment proposals, strategic reviews, and so on. So awesome, you've just seen five of the most common AI agent types and how they can automate any of your business workflows. Like I said earlier, I have step-by-step -step tutorials showing you exactly how you can build each of the AI agents I showed you today. Finally, if you need help to implement AI agents in your business, you can book a free strategy session with me below. And if this was helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week for more AI content. Ciao.